Washington State Patrol releasing a statement in the last couple of hours saying that things were quiet here, but appear to have been quiet across 49 other state capitals, 600 National Guard troops here in Olympia at the ready. Thankfully, not a very active day for them as the Capitol Rotunda itself is inaccessible. There are checkpoints at each four corners. National Guard troops separated by about 12 feet each, and then you see those chain link fences. The uh, protest was supposed to happen at noon, but that didn't happen. We really saw just a handful, and I mean a handful, probably less than five people coming out here to protest. The National Guard, though, was ready. Here's one protester's thoughts on today. Well, this isn't America anymore. I look at it. You know, it's something's happening. This country is going to be divided because of the bureaucrats. You know, that's why I look at it. You know, I've been, I've been here every weekend since it started, but this is pretty relaxed today. So this uh, show of force, if you will, not happening in a vacuum. The pro-Trump rally turned riot in D.C has caused law enforcement and the National Guard to be activated in many cities, many state capitals across the country to try to avoid anything like we saw uh, about a week ago at the nation's capital. Now, the, the big attention is focused on Inauguration Day, which will be Wednesday. We're told there's going to be a sizable presence that will remain here, if not possibly grow larger by Inauguration Day. That is the next uh, focus of attention. The capital itself, though, remains inaccessible, not just because of the presence, but because of COVID-19 restrictions, tours of the capital, and many of the meetings that would be held inside now being held remotely. In Olympia, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.